Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to calibrate my 1025R with the, uh, back there you can see my new uh, boom sprayer, my Femco Industries boom sprayer. And uh, today we want to uh, go ahead and calibrate that. So now, right here you see my 1025R. Naturally, when I'm gonna be spraying, you will not see uh, the front loader on. But uh, just for now, for testing purposes, I wanna calibrate my sprayer. I'm going to see how, uh, I'm going to calibrate it and make sure that we put the proper amount of liquid down. So, here, here it is, here's my 1025R, it's a 2014 with, uh, currently it has 324.5 hours. Yeah, 324.5 hours. So, I hope you can see that. And uh, 1025R looks pretty nice. I got it used. Very nice condition. Uh, looks almost brand new. Uh, barely had to do any uh, work to it. I just uh, changed the liquids. I uh, did manage to break a front axle seal. I have a few snippets of that uh, maybe later on or in another video. And uh, on here we also have some uh, work lights and like I said it's a pretty solid machine it's a used machine it wasn't brand new but it didn't come at the price tag so for this year's long care season I purchased a Finco Industries 40 gallon LG 43.20 volt bolted so as you can see it's three point hitch mount I modified the uh, the connector so it fits into my cigarette lighter right here. Uh, the cable was just too short to get to the battery and now I gotta go out and buy some pins for right here and here so, so I can get this mounted securely and uh, also I rednecked my center mount here so I gotta get that done properly. But here nor there. Uh, I'm going to take a trip to the store later on and purchase those items. Uh, we have a nice little rig put together here. Uh, comes with a 15 or 25 foot uh, hose. Uh, so if I got to do some spraying uh, that I can't get to, definitely have that. And the boom is uh, apparently 120 inches wide. So uh, 120 inch spray. Uh, so if you look at it, uh, I did a pre-test right here. <clears throat> the spray reached from here all the way to over there. Here's what we are going to do. We are going to take my measuring wheel. And we are going to measure from my uh, truck hitch. They're going down the driveway uh, for 100 feet. And just to see how long does it take to put down 100, uh, to drive 100 feet in low gear at 2000 rpm so here you can see my lawn journal i'm a big fan of the lawn care nut i uh, started a lawn journal and what i'm doing now is in here i have a few things that i uh, document application rates when i applied what so i know what's going on and uh, that's a great tip from the lawn care nut but definitely what i want to do today is i want to document the output of my sprayer so i'm going to do four runs for we're gonna do run number we're gonna do and we're gonna do the Fimco boom sprayer we're gonna do 2000 rpm low range now we're gonna test how long it takes to drive that distance so we're gonna do four tries number one number two number three number four we're gonna see how long it takes to drive 100 feet of distance in seconds so let's get to it Right, guys so we did the four runs on average it's about 31 uh, 30 seconds 30 uh, 30.5 seconds per hundred feet so 
Uh, now we know how long it takes to drive 100 feet at my rate. This pump puts out about 2.1 gallons per minute. So, that being said, let me turn off the tractor. That said, I want to say we have um, we, we have a good starting point to do some math and do some calculations. Now we got to find out what the spray width is of this sprayer. Uh, but before before I'm going to start doing that, I want to find out if I have the spacing correct uh, on my if I have the spacing correct on my boom sprayer. So what we have to do to figure out if the nozzle spacing is correct is just measure the distance from nozzle to nozzle to nozzle to nozzle and make sure that it is even and equal. And uh, you probably are going to point this out, but as you can see, I don't think I have my cap uh, screwed on uh, properly because it's dripping. That's not good if there's product in there. Right now there's just water for testing purposes, so that should not be a problem. But the, the, I gotta say, you know, the three-point hitch lift works great. I, can, I filled it halfway. The tractor doesn't seem to care that there is any uh, weight on the back there. So that is a good thing and uh, very excited about that. I gotta make sure that I get this leveled here and I can level that over there. Uh, but overall, I think this is gonna be quite a success. So now we will measure how long it takes or how much liquid we can capture in 30 seconds uh, while I'm doing the 100 feet out of each nozzle. So now we know we get about 14 ounces or 13 and a half ounces per nozzle. Let's double check the other nozzles, but it should be very similar. And if that's the case, um, we know that each nozzle in 30 seconds puts off around 13 and a half ounces. All right, guys, here we go. So. We're back in the studio, now we're just looking at the long journals uh, and our findings. So what we found is basically uh, that um, at 2000 RPM in low range using my 1025R, uh, it takes me about 30.6 seconds on average to travel 100 uh, feet. And that, during that time frame, this is the amount of uh, ounces each of the nozzles puts out, which equals 58 ounces in our average time, 30.6 seconds. Now, so what does that mean? That means uh, this, if the spray, spray swath is 120 inches, uh, as you know, 12 inches uh, to a foot, we are putting out 10, we're covering 10 feet at once and uh, with a 30 inch spacing. So 120 inches equals 10 feet times 100 feet that we are traveling means we're covering 1,000 square feet and need 58 ounces of product. That means 58 ounces, uh, 58 ounces of product times the total uh, square footage of my property, which is 50,000 square feet of a uh, lawn, means we need 2,900 ounces of product. Uh, 2,900 uh, 2, ounces equals 22.6 uh, gallons. Uh, as you know, you have 128 ounces per gallon. So, 
now uh, I know how much uh, I got to mix in total to cover my entire property and if I get done and I have some left I know that I may have traveled too fast or I didn't cover everything so just uh, just as an indicator naturally uh, because the tank is not always uh, you can't really empty it all the way because of the design and the way it is. Uh, I most likely will have to mix more than 22.6 gallons uh, of water and product in order to get an even coverage throughout the lawn. And then I could always use up the rest in spray cans as needed or whatnot. But uh, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you can always comment below. Consider subscribing to the, to the channel as you will... Uh, see uh in the future we will be posting more videos with the 1025r i'm going to show you what type of products i use on my lawn and uh, what i really want to do is um something unique because i did find a lot of guys out there that know a lot of stuff about product and applying uh, but i also found that they use products on two to five thousand maybe ten thousand square foot lawns but we're dealing with 50,000 square feet and we don't want not want to break the bank uh, treating our property and I want to show you what you can do as a large property owner to uh, maintain a nice property and uh, not break the bank while doing it naturally if you want to and you want to follow a crazy plan uh, that has all these possibilities you're welcome to do so but I want to put out something that will look good be presentable and also uh, uh dominate the neighborhood i got that one from the long care nut haha <laughs> all right thanks for watching guys see you in another video bye